You did a little something this morning, didn't you? Yes, I did. I went ahead and braced every single one of these fan boxes. Now these metal bracket boxes or whatever, they're meant for fans and ceiling fixtures itself. So because we're not putting drywall up just yet, I wanted to brace it and it's not gonna sort of vibrate and sort of bend and tweak and whatnot, you know? Yeah. So I got that all braced up, got them all set up and squared away. So I'm just gonna start attaching these things and get them up because I wanna get them up and off the floor and out of the boxes. Yeah. So we got a lot of stuff around. Yeah, we do have a lot of a lot of stuff just lying around. We're gonna have to, to clean up in here in a little while. But first things first, yeah, ceiling fans. Woohoo! Ceiling fans. So in case you guys missed it in one of our last videos, we did show you the ceiling fans that we're actually going to be installing today. I'm gonna show you them really quick before Gary gets to work on it. So these are the ones that we picked out from Home Depot. They're 52 inch indoor LED ceiling fans. So coming out of the box, this is kind of what the, uh, the color is looking like. It's really pretty. You actually could put the blade fans on in two different directions. You could use the lighter wood color or you could use the darker wood color. It really doesn't matter the way that you install it. Um, I have definitely got to ponder it and decide which one that I want to use. Do I want the, the dark side down or the light side down? I'm really looking forward to the air getting pushed around here, you know what I mean? So it's going to be a little while until we can actually flip the switch and get it running, but I am so excited that we are going to be yet again another step closer. It's so cool. Let's look at this on the little sockets. It has a light bulb and then it has a fan. So you'll never get confused on which one to pull. No. Nope. Very cool. I like it. And there's, there's our first fan. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. This is, this is the test. My tall butt. I don't even hit the chain. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, if I raise my hand, I'm gonna hit this guy. You spin that thing really fast. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. I like it. That's good. Good job, baby. That's a nice fan, man. One down, two to go. Everything's clear If you choose to see Just a matter What our love could be You belong here With me I 
belong here. I belong with you every day here. Always feel so new. It's amazing what you love can do. I belong. What's going on, you guys? How's it going? Well, obviously, we are not on the 41.36. Nope. We are actually in Fort Smith right now. Yes. And we're at uh, the place we, we frequent very often. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Yeah, but fortunately, yes. today is a huge day for us. Um, if you look in the background, you can actually see Biggie with the flatbed trailer. Yep. Today is going to be our biggest supply haul yet. We're going to need one of these guys. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have you grab a regular cart too. Where are we going? Electrical first. All right. We'll make our way down this way. All right, I'll keep an eye out for a bus bar. I would assume it'd be in this area, but you know what? Hey, there you are right there. 21 terminals. Perfect. I'm gonna buy two of these things for the next time we, the next box. The next box, yeah, we're gonna need it for another box upstairs. Just in case, all right, so there's that. All right, we got the first thing down. Where are we off to now, baby? We're going to the bathroom? Bathroom stuff, we got appliances, blinds. We're gonna be in this area per se, but let's find that fixture first. All right. And then I can get all the uh, PEX piping stuff. And then we could start asking for a sales associate and have them help us grab all the stuff. We are definitely going to keep the sales associate very busy today. Yes, we got a lot to do. All right. What you want, baby? Oh, man. We've got these right here. Well, Look at these bath stuff um, for a shower head, I definitely want one on a rope. You want one on a rope? Yes, most definitely. It makes it a lot easier to clean the shower. They've got these over here. Ooh, oh. They've got all of these are. It looks like those are there you go. There's all your fixtures. So which one do you want? Yeah, I look at prices. this is all you, baby. It ain't me. No, let me look at some prices and let me look at some styles. And it's kind of cool because look, it's magnetic. Boom. And I like this brushed metal look. We're going to need one with a With a tub, tub spout? spout? Well, this one's well. not much more. This one's 10 bucks more and we can have this set, which is also magnetic. And it has this thing up here. So I'm assuming you turn this guy and then it turns it onto this. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Assuming. That's what it looks like to me. That's nice. So that and is it's that. It's got the single turn like I wanted. It's perfect. Perfect. This is the one you want? Yep, that's it. Alrighty. So many bathroom knobs to choose from. Mm hmm For our sink. So I think I like that one right there. You want that guy? I think so. That's B3. Right here. All right, so we got the one that we want. It's a different brand than what we're going with for the fixtures inside the bathtub, but the finish is the same. Yep. So they didn't have the same brand nope. of mowing for the uh, sink here. Nope. And we're going to save a lot of money on getting this one. Save money, and it also has a stopper on it. Yeah. So perfect. I'll be able to, you know, shave mm. easy. 
<laughs> Perfect. All right, so we got that. Now wait a we... minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said shave? Well, when I do shave, I would like to be able <laughs> I'm to... I'm just going to say, people are going to hold you to that now, Gary. Well, when I do shave, I... Hey, I shave. It doesn't uh -huh. mean that I shave everything. I gotta shave underneath. All right, I finally decided on a, uh, a bathroom faucet and um, toilet paper roll holder and uh, some bath hooks. So, now we're going to PEX, baby? Yep, we are going to PEX pipe fitting stuff, Ooh, right, y'all? Pipe fittings. 100 feet, 100 feet. All right, so we've got the a pressure regulator, you guys. So we find ourselves in another very exciting aisle. Water heaters. All righty, so I just looked online, triple checked that a 50 gallon one is the same exact uh, amp rating aspect as the 40, because I already bought a 30 amp uh, breaker, so. And I've got a little bit of wire for this guy already. Is that a team lift? Do you want some help? Yeah, I'm gonna just grab this back one right here. This one's a little, seems like it's it's had better days. <laughs> oh, that box, the front box? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Uh, Get your front end. It's, a, it's. Okay, turn me it. Turn it first. Okay. There we go. All right. All righty. All right, we did it. We got one hot water heater. Okay. You found your toilet? Well, no, I found the bathtub. Combination pricing for all of it. Only six, six eleven. For the whole thing? For the whole thing. Tub, that, shower, everything? That saves us so oh. much money right there. That's amazing. Yes! I want to find out if this bathtub is going to be big enough. Oh yeah, elbow room. Ah, direct to stud installation. This is nice. This is nice. It's not right up in your face. Big enough for our stuff. This is a good size tub. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what else I like? I like that all the way up here. I could put my razor and stuff like that and the kids aren't gonna be, oops. Yep. So, and I like all the built-in stuff. Are we leaving our house in Arizona? Like, uh, didn't we didn't have shelves. Have, it they didn't only have had any. one shelf that you could really use it and it was soap. small. Yeah. It was a little soap. Now you've got shelves for everything. Wow. That's awesome. So, I shouldn't like need it. anything. Shouldn't need a caddy. You shouldn't need Don't to. Don't tell on me that I was in here, up on their shelves. Don't snitch. Golf balls in a, in a single flush. Are you planning on dropping off some golf balls in the pool, babe? Oh, hey man. <laughs> All right, Gary, did you find the toilet of your dreams? This is it right here. Is that it? It does not have the uh, actual pressure assist in there yet. We're gonna have to buy that separate, so. You're gonna prefab it yourself? Yeah, but it should fit inside of that. Uh, but we got the back of uh, Biggie loaded down and the truck bed. We also got the, uh, the, trailer, the trailer completely loaded down. Yeah, it's loaded. <laughs> We're loaded every which way. Yeah, so. but we have literally everything that we need to finish the basement. We've got all the drywall, all the plumbing, the bathroom, uh, doors. I mean, literally everything that we need to finish out our basement build is inside this truck right now, or it's already on the 41.36. Oh man. I couldn't be happier. How are you feeling? Uh, big relief of stress. Like yes. no tomorrow. I was sitting here like literally just biting my fingernails like crazy and like looking at all the stuff that we needed to get. And I'm just thinking numbers. Yeah. And money wise and everything else that we've looked at online and everything and i'm like just trying to add numbers back and forth i'm like uh are we gonna be able to do this are we gonna be able to afford trip? it right now oh man so it was a lot better than what i was expecting <laughs> so much better man like uh, you want to tell them yeah go ahead so we budgeted ourselves for everything that we've got 
about five grand. And I was sitting there doing numbers in my head and I was like, literally like, uh, we're going to be pushing it close, we're pushing it. <laughs> and like, it's, that's very low number wise of what we need. So I'm like, hopefully we can stay within that budget. But yeah. It was well within that budget. Yes, well. $4,500 for everything. For everything that we got, guys. Ugh. We saved, well, we were $500 below budget for what we needed to finish out this basement. I couldn't be happier. I know that a huge thing is because we got, I'm pretty sure it was a Labor Day sale for that bathtub. I have no idea. I but think, I don't know. It was I'm just happy something. that we got it because it was 611 out the door with the bathtub and the, uh, wrap around part that attaches walls. on top the shower aspect yeah the shower walls so yeah, that 6 was 6 11, 11. That's so cheap everything online was telling me like about 12 on the cheap end to 18 yeah to 18 for what so, we were looking for so that right there saved us that 600 dollars right there and then everything else too everything that we kept buying i was like oh wow that's not as much as i was expecting that's not as much as i was expecting and i just kept on looking at mel like we're doing all right. I'm still stressing out because I don't know the number exact. But. We were pleasantly surprised, guys. Yes. Pleasantly surprised. Um, we did go with oh. some different things that we maybe weren't thinking of going with at first. Uh, for instance, the vanity was not necessarily the vanity that I was originally thinking that I wanted, but I know that it's going to look nice and we can make it look uh, work for us. Um, the cabinetry, too, that's going to go inside the bathroom, the big stand-up one, it doesn't match the vanity yet but i have a plan for that and how it's going to make it look really nice and it's all going to tie together uh we did kind of mix and match a few things you guys are just gonna have to see how it all plays out but i know that we're going to be able to uh to make it look very nice and it, the topmost thing is that it's going to be very functional for us yes so i mean shoot we even got our, our hot water heater we got like literally everything <laughs> all the water stuff all, all the drywall all the pex like pipe fitting stuff that everything. we need I'm stoked. I, we got everything. I'm stoked. We are back here on the 41.36. It is super ah. duper bright and I want to move inside the basement. Yes. Uh, but we got everything back from Home Depot and we got it all unloaded and we are ready to press forward on this build. So before we do, I wanted to show you guys the finished product of all the ceiling fans because I just now realized that we never actually showed you guys what they looked like. We just installed it and then ran off to the store. So yep. let's uh, show you guys what we got installed with those ceiling fans. And then we are going to show you guys and talk to you guys about what we got going on today. And I know you guys are going to be so excited for this because it's been a long time coming. Yes. Oh, yeah. Long time. All but right. it's time. Let's go walk inside the basement. It's bright. Let's do it. Right out here. So check it out, guys. The ceiling fans are installed. And man, they look so, so good. They're perfectly in line with each other and they look fantastic. Now that the ceiling fans are installed and now that we have all of these materials inside the basement, uh, one of the things that we have to do so that way we could protect our investment is get the double doors and the windows on. Yes. We are expecting rain this weekend and we would really hate to have water come in and ruin all of our drywall, so. That would suck. Yeah, that would really suck. I mean, it is mold and mildew resistant, but. Still. Still. <laughs> what we got to do now in order to get this window to fit right here inside this uh, this blocked area, you can see that Gary went around and he actually put up some of the uh, the zip system just kind of as a filler right here. Also to close the gap just a little bit. But he also made a window frame right here. Yep. And what are you going to do with that, baby? So basically, the reason why I did this right here, it gives me basically the same style as what a house would be you would have this on the outer side and then you would just put the window in i'm not doing that reason being there's a couple to it but reason being because it's so far in water could really pull in here and i want to have the least amount in as well as i want to have the most amount of actual like window seal area so when i'm outside or 
waking up, look out the window, I can have my coffee, rest my coffee on here, and I don't have to have the ledge actually protruding into the wall or out of the wall or anything else like that. Makes it a little difficult to put anything next to a window. <laughs> so I want to make it flush as possible, and it gives me just that extra little bit. What I gotta do now, I gotta flash this to this. Once that's flashed to that, I'm gonna take this guy, put it in, and then I'm gonna flash it all in and everything. Once that's flashed in there, now I can put the window in. Then I can flash the window. <laughs> Once the window is flashed, I'm going to make a kicker from the window and everything from the height and actually have it be slanted. And then we can go around liquid flash everything else and get it all liquid flash sealed in and everything. And that should make it to where if any water does get into this area, this really helps with it not going inside, inside. So I'm trying to cover all aspects, just in case, just in case, what ifs, a backup to the backup. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right there. You clean that window sill. Oh yeah. Clean it good. I'm gonna clean that window. Just gonna get it all nice and cleaned up. So I can start doing all the flashing tape. A broom broke. Nope. I don't have a hand broom. Not down here at least. Here's what you got. Yep. We're getting tired of running back and forth, back and forth. I know, it's a, it's a walk, but you know what? Soon enough we'll be in the basement and all of our stuff will not be, be scattered around the property. And it won't be so difficult. Yes. Very, very soon. Alright, that one's done. Next. Perfect. I can't wait. It's going to be so nice. Oh, the windows and doors are going to completely transform this space. Oh, well, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. We could both use some change A newer perspective to see How life looked in a different lane But here in your arms I can't leave now Cause I don't wanna let go of this Got lost somewhere along the way Chasing the grass that looked greener Lost sight of my reason to stay But one look from you draws me nearer So I don't want to let go Love has a funny way of growing For those that don't mind slowing down Nice, that opens and slides nice. Is as fleeting as a sunset Hiding in the evening clouds So live with me here in this moment now That looks amazing. That looks so good. I like it. And every morning I see you Lovely in all kinds of ways 
I can't express what it means to me when I come home to this love has a funny way of growing for those that don't mind slowing down no time is as fleeting as a sunset hiding in the evening clouds so live with me here in this moment It's a funny way of growing For those that don't mind slowing down Time is as fleeting as a sunset Hiding in the evening clouds So live with me here in this moment now Can we live right here in this moment It looks so good. It does. That was a lot of work to get that door in there, man. There was a lot yes, of was. shimming and moving and grooving, but we got it. We got it in. It's in. Got <laughs> doorknobs on there and a lock on there too. Um, I'm excited. So you guys want to see it? Oh man. Let's show them. Let's show them. So check it out, guys. Double doors. It's got uh, these internal blinds, which are really cool. Uh, you use this little handle button right here and you can go up and that'll close the blinds. They're inside the glass, which is really nice. And you can go down to close them. And then also, if you guys take this thing and you go all the way down, raises them all the way up. So mm -hmm. you can go up, take them down, and then you can shift how you, how you like it. I like it. Pretty cool. We got a doorknob. We actually have a doorknob. Dun -da -da -da. And a deadbolt. Mm -hmm. I got something for you, baby. You got keys? We got keys to our place. Keys to the path? Keys to the house. Heck yeah. But it looks so good, guys. I'm so yes. happy with the progress. We've got ceiling fans in. We yes. have all of the materials for us to continue on our build. Now we got windows and the doors in. I mean, I would say that's a really good last couple days of work. Oh, yes. I'm super happy. Like, can't believe it. That door kicked our butts though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're still not quite finished. Nope. Um, we do have to come through with the uh, big gap filler and fill in the holes right here on the sides. And we're we still have to do some flashing. Shims. Cut off the shims. So. Yeah. And we still have to do the big gap filler up here inside the holes up there where Gary had drilled for the electricity. So, I mean, there's still a little bit of stuff that we have left to do, but I think Gary and I are going to handle that off camera and uh, we will come back out again tomorrow, start filming some more. You guys are going to see that in another couple of days, but yeah, man, we have really put it in this week. Yes. And I'm very, very happy with the progress. Yes, indeed. It was a lot, but we got a lot more to do. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're almost there though. Almost there. We're getting, getting closer there. and closer to the finish line. This is huge. Doors and windows. This is, uh, this is so huge. Like huge, 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 huge. Doesn't even like begin to explain it. I'm happy. Huge. I hope you are. I'm ecstatic. All right. So guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. Uh, kids are home, gotta get to cooking, gotta get editing this video. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today. We'll be back at it again on Monday. So until then guys, we love y'all. We hope you have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one, y'all. Bye you guys. Later, later.